Okay, so this is the sitch. I have got a 2,000 word essay due in tomorrow. The issue here being that it is almost tomorrow. It is currently 11.43 in the PM, in the PM. Um... Yeah. Another issue is that we are currently on a grand total of zero words. I don't know how this happened, I don't know what went wrong, but yeah, this is not a good situation to be in. It's fine, it's fine. It's gonna be fine. Is it gonna be fine? I should start by saying I know this is not a good thing to have done. This is not a clever thing to have done. But we are in this situation now and we are just we're just gonna own it, okay? Actually, just give me give me one sec. Okay, it's gonna be fine. We're gonna be we're gonna be absolutely fine. I'm glad I got that out of my system. On tonight's program, ladies and gentlemen, we have something that's gonna make you sick. I have got my planning done, like my primary and my secondary reading is all written down on here and ready to go. Um, and I've put it under sort of like headings, so I've done a bit of analysis and stuff, but I don't I, I haven't started writing yet. Oh, uh, I can hear people outside my window on nights out having fun and and here we are here we are everyone firstly maybe i should tell you what the essay is on this is the essay title so it's basically like responding to a quote so the quote is each generation imagines itself to be more intelligent than the one that went before it and wiser than the one that comes after it and that is a quote by george orwell discuss the relationship between different generations as depicted in post-war literature this is the book that i'm writing on it is the prime of miss jean brody by muriel spark hopefully there are 2000 words in me to describe this book in fact the issue is, is that i have like the ideas in here it's just like translating them in a way where they don't become shit from here to the laptop screen. So basically, I'm going to try and do it now. Hopefully, I won't have an existential crisis en route. I don't know what else to say. Let's just, let's get going and see what happens. My essay is basically going to be about Calvinism and the setting of Edinburgh and how generations sort of negotiate their past, present and future within the context of a city that was doing the same sort of thing. Does that make sense or is there so much waffle there that you've got the maple syrup about? I don't know. So the first thing I kind of need to do is to make a bit of an essay plan because I sort of have like key themes and core ideas that I'm going to discuss and I have research on. I've got all the points, I just need to work out how to sort of make them work. How to make them make sense, which is a problem. But I got myself into this mess, so I'm gonna get myself out. So let's put my glasses on so that I look more intelligent and feel more intelligent and make a bloody plan. <laughs> Okay, so that is all done. One thing I find really, really useful is to write like an abstract for the essay. So basically before I start writing, I write down on a piece of just like scrap paper in my own words, what my argument is going to be, like what the point of my essay is going to be. And then throughout the essay, if I ever felt like I'm like losing focus or don't know what the hell is going on, I just refer back to this and I'm like, yes. That is what I'm trying to argue here. I also wrote an essay plan just with like eight key points as like a flow sort of diagram to get me through the essay from start to finish. And so it all makes a lot more sense in my head right now. All of my housemates are sensible people and they have gone to bed. So we have got to be a little bit more quiet. Also today I've started developing like a cold. Literally my body is giving up on me and my mind is like, I'm still alive but I'm barely breathing. So it is going swimmingly if we were Jack in the Titanic. Okay, right, let's get on with it. I'm gonna start by writing an introduction. I know not everyone believes in writing your introduction first. I know a lot of people say you should write your introduction at the end, but to me, the essay doesn't make sense if I don't write some kind of introduction because same with my abstract, like I like to be able to refer back to the introduction to know what I'm like focusing on, what my key line of argument is. As the essay progresses, I obviously like edit the introduction. I think that's super important. So once I finish the essay, once it gets to the end, I will obviously revise the introduction so that it is completely fitting to what I end up sort of saying. Hopefully let's get some kind of rough introduction done.
Okay, intro is done. That is 248 words, which is just over a tenth. So that is a success. My rough introduction is done. It is time for the optimal focus playlist. So come on, this is a playlist full of loads of lo-fi songs which are really good for focus and studying, which I made um, where there's no lyrics or anything to distract you. And I actually added loads of brand new songs to it, so search this up. Um, it's very, very helpful. It is 1.08 a.m. and I have written just short of 500 words. That's a quarter of the essay done, which I am pretty pleased with. My first two paragraphs are done, or like done for now. I am just powering on. I can feel myself getting increasingly ill, which is just horrible. But you know, we've got to do it. We've got to get this done and we will. Now I'm going to try and write one more paragraph and then after that I'm going to reward myself with some food, like a little snack. So the optimal focus playlist is going back on and um, I'm ready to be focused to the optimal. <laughs> Okay, I have got sweets. I'm having to reward myself like an actual child because I am six years old. Mmm, I needed that. Hopefully a bit of a sugar boost should do me some good because I'm going insane. Okay, it is time to go back to the essay. It is 10 past two in the AM and I've written 750 words. So we're nearly, kind of nearly at the halfway point, which is good, but also not that good because I'd, I'd rather be asleep, you know? <sighs> Let's go do that, I guess. Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, very close to a mental breakdown. And we have reached the 3 a.m. mark. 3 a.m. <sighs> So I'm going to continue writing. I'm in a bit of a flow now. I'm quite, I think it's going quite well. In all fairness, I think the conclusion will be pretty easy and that's like 200 words. So really, really, it's kind of only 800 words to go. <laughs> Update, it is 3.52 and I have written 1,600 words. This is the home stretch, guys. 4.13 a.m. And 2,000 words done. We have made it to 2,000 words somehow. So in the words of Destiny's Child, I'm a survivor. I feel like I've aged about three months in the time since I started it, but I am going to head to bed. I would love to not set an alarm for the morning, but I have two more 2000 word essays and my final dissertation title to confirm um, by the end of next week. So 4am, it's been real. I'm sure we will be meeting again very, very soon. Obviously, I'm not going to submit my essay in its current state. I will look over it again tomorrow, but I am going to send it off like tomorrow. So um, I'm going to look at it with fresh eyes, which I always try to do anyway. And yeah, this has been an essay crisis with a jack. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video for some 
peculiar reason, then you can give it a thumbs up and you can also subscribe down below. For now, I've been Jack Edwards. Thank you very, very much for watching. Have a lovely day. Um, do your essays on time. Don't procrastinate. And I will see you very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>